Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Rising World. There we are, back in our little homestead. We've got some lamps up. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do right now. Got our new press. Got our new map. Got uh, stuff going on. I think today, let's see, how many torches do we have? We have 11 torches. I think we could make some more torches. Let's make a few more torches. And um, I think we need... We got some wood. Let's see about making torches. Someday I'll remember where all this stuff is at. We need a stick. So, need lumber to make a stick. So let's make some lumber. And then let's make a stick. And then let's make how many can we make? 16 torches. That's a good start. Let's talk about a oh, metal torch rod. Well, we'll start with wood. And we need more sticks. So let's make let's check our inventory real quick. Um, we don't have our torch mounts. Do we have any left? I don't see any there. Probably nothing in here. Nope, looks like we gotta make... Looks like we gotta make a bunch. We need to make at least 27. So we probably need more sticks. Let's check and see what a torch mount requires. More sticks. We need more sticks. Always more something. And then we only need like 28 of these. Okay, now, do we have our pick by Cracky? Yes, we do. I think we should leave some of this stuff here. Let's uh, go to this chest. We're going to put our lumber up here, and we're going to put our wood in here. We need to get our cotton up here. I say we put our tools that we're not going to take with us. We have plenty of food. We don't want to take all this food or the iron. You never know when you might wind up dead. It would suck to lose all this stuff down there. We should put iron in the cooker. We're going to eventually need to upgrade this guy. He's uh, not exactly the biggest um, but we know we can put two in and we know we can put oh we already got some in here We know that'll cook while we're gone. We'll go over here and we'll put these in here. And I did it again. I'm gonna try I'm gonna do this one more time and remember. 
because I'm told that when I craft there are multiple choices and I haven't been craft item double click to toggle full screen preview so I don't see I don't see the option for crafting anything differently but that doesn't mean that I'm using the right thing yet so we're still gonna figure that out because um, somebody has been making it very clear to me that we should we should do better so let's put the torches in here and let's put the stick the uh, thingies in here and let's go in here <laughs> uh, let's not forget to close the door let's go here let's put this in here so we're not losing it by accident we got some food let's put the food right here I think we should go get we should go we should go get some water I'm gonna take a little eat of this here tomato get our strength up we got our pick Oh look, the sun is going down. Can we sleep yet? Take a little nap while the sun is going down. How is everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing good. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. We'll take a little nap while this, uh, this is not working for me. The sun's not going down fast enough. So I guess we'll go mine. And we're going to go over here, kind of out of the way. we got plenty of food on us, so we'll be okay. We should rake these weeds out of the front of this uh, cavern. I don't know if this is really going to be helpful, but I think we're going to do some mining. I guess I have to hit the rock first. Do some mining. See how much... Uh, how much we can bore you with our mining because I don't know you know if this is a waste of time mining in a tunnel I also don't know anything about the levels of depth of, of uh, ore in this tunnel either Let's see. So we got a little light here. We're going to go start going kind of down. We don't want to go too drastic because then we will get ourselves stuck down here, but we can always carve our way out I suppose I wonder if this is worth it do we are we better off mining the ore out of the side of the mountain I don't know how deep we are I wonder if there's a way to know that I don't know if there's a way to know that, but you know, we're going to keep digging. What the heck? <laughs> Swinging when you're <coughs> not hitting anything seems kind of lame to me. So hopefully, y'all got a, a good uh, story of my, for mining. That you can share at some point. We have not gone very far. <laughs> 
that is for sure look there is a moose they are all over the place We need to make sure we got a gentle little root out before we make a mess and get ourselves where we have to carve our way out of here, which again is not a huge problem, but I don't want it. I really think it's a waste of time to blow it, you know? So far I'm not seeing anything, uh, anything very cool. Um, one second. Alright, we're right back. Sorry about... Oh. Hmm, what was that? It looked like it could be black. But it was probably just, you know, stones not um, spawning correctly. I'd, I've never, I don't know that I've ever mined to the bottom, so I have no idea, but I'm told the world is, is um, unlimited, therefore I would assume that uh, you can't mine out of the world, but I don't know that. I, I haven't been paying attention to that kind of stuff. It's now getting kind of dark. We should... Uh, Put one of these little gadgets on the wall. And I guess we should check and see if we've given ourselves a way out. <laughs> Not really? Okay, well we should fix that right now. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Yep. Gotta pay attention to this kind of stuff, folks. You will get lost in the cavern. So I wonder, our map does not give us depth coordinates, uh, so our poor compass has no idea where we're, well, it, the map says, the map knows where we're at. We're continuing to dig holes. It can figure that out, I guess. I got a whole bunch of rocks. Not a whole lot of nothing else. It's kind of disappointing that you would mine and find nothing. But, you know, we have to check. There we go. We got ourselves stuck. It's a very deep hole. Of course, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. It'll stick now. Okay, well. I guess we'll keep digging for a little while longer. Let's say that we dig 
Let's say we dig pair, or we dig horizontally for now. We've already dug down quite a bit. Let's make a tunnel. See how far we get. Note to self, make your tunnels tall enough to stand in. Kinda silly when you don't, because you get you bump your head on the on the roof and you get your head you get stuck. Still back to this idea that this ain't really profitable. I think we should go back outside and just carve out of the side of the mountain whenever we see ore. Feel like we've got a nice deep hole here, and it's useless. Wait a minute. What is that? Is that ore? Hmm. May we have found it? Yeah, this is ore. Tungsten ore. Hey, this is not a bad deal because I know this is this is stuff we need. And I don't know that I, I well, of course, I haven't looked really hard, but I haven't seen this outside of a cave yet. On the side of the wall or nothing. We can make some stuff with this stuff. I don't know what yet. I think we need this stuff to, uh, to upgrade our bench. Wow, there's a... That's some copper. Oh my gosh, we have struck ore in our in our tunnel in our cave. We didn't give up. We almost gave up. I'm not gonna lie. We almost gave up. But there is a bunch of copper here, so we'll grab that. Uh, we grab the tungsten. We'll go back and see if we circle back in this little pocket we're in and see if we can get more of that. Feel like I should probably put another torch up. At least there ain't no creepers in this hole. We can count on that. I don't know if there's any beasts of any kind. Oh, I shouldn't have put that there. <laughs> Look at all of this ore. Holy crud. Oh, let's not do that. Let's not let's not um let's not drop the material on our head. I know. Let's just kind of not do that. Probably not a good thing. Lots and lots of copper. That's pretty cool. And is that more tungsten? Yeah. And here's some more tungsten too. And here's some more up here. And once again, our tunnel has dried up. But I don't know. I think we can come out of here with a pretty good haul and be pretty happy about this. And we, uh, something else that occurs to me. I think we need, um, I think we need a, 
to go kill an animal and make a water pouch, what do you want to call it? Because I'm thinking we don't have one, and I'm thinking we should have one. But, you know, we're not particularly smart that way. We, uh, we don't mind drinking face down in the pond. But, uh, I think it's maybe time to make something. And I think we probably have enough tungsten. And we're probably going to have to go traipsing outside <coughs> and look at the, uh, the side of the mountain and find some coal. Because I don't think we have enough coal. So this has been a pretty good run. I think we'll stop right there and go out here. If we can get out of our hole. Not a bad little tunnel. And we didn't even get stuck. That's pretty cool all together. Well, we're kind of stuck right there. That's better. There we go. Outside into the daylight. Outside into the daylight. We found some tungsten. I don't know what we're going to make with tungsten yet. But I know there's something we need to have it for, and I think it was to upgrade this, at least this first table. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. This has been a good thing. I'm going to run up and get some water before we uh, call it a day. And... Um, yeah, that's a pretty good tunnel. Okay, chewing on our tomato. Got a nice humble abode here. Still, obviously, lots of different kind of things we could do for upgrades. But, um, you know, it's been a pleasure. Um, I'll see you again soon. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for coming by. See ya.